What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to add additional storage to your PC. Today we're going to be using this 480GB SSD from Transcend. Keep in mind this process will also apply for any hard drive. In the box you'll usually find the drive itself, along with mounting screws and manuals and warranty information. Let's get started. Here is my main PC where I will be installing the drive. I'll put the specs in the description below if you're curious. First, we will need to power down the PC as well as turning off our power supply in the back. We're going to open up the side panel using the thumb screws in the back. You may have to open up the back of your PC depending on your case. Next, we're going to remove this old 16GB SSD from the tray, but first we'll need to remove the thumb screws. Gently remove the SATA cables and remove the hard drive tray from the PC. Now remove the four screws from the mounting tray to prepare it for the new drive. Next, line up the screw holes on the drive and the tray and screw it back together. When you're done, it should be nice and flat with no gaps in between. Now we're going to mount the SSD along with the tray back into the computer case. Carefully reattach the SATA data and power cables back to the drive. And we're going to mount it back in with a thumb screw. Now we're going to put the panel back onto the case. And make sure you just hand tighten the thumb screws. And don't forget to turn your power supply back on. And then go ahead and boot up your PC. Once your computer is booted up, we're going to go into the Computer Management Console in Windows. Head on over to Disk Management, and you should see the unallocated drive listed below. We're going to right click on it, and we're going to create a new simple volume. Windows will take you through the setup wizard to format the drive. During the setup wizard, you can choose any drive letter you'd like. Windows will take about a minute to format the drive. And if it doesn't assign a drive letter, just right click on it and click change drive letter and paths. Click Add, and then choose the letter again. On the right hand side, it should say that you have a new drive located in your system. If you head on over to the Windows Explorer, you should see the new drive listed there. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Subscribe if you liked what you saw, and we'll see you in the next video.